as the economy gets going again, uh, the, the budget I lay out and the priorities we're laying out this year are clearly to try to make up for some dollars that we didn't have the last couple of years and to put us on a path to fully fund the formula in two years, to triple our preschool project dollars, to make college affo more affordable by continuing our tuition freeze for another year. School officials representing every corner of the state gathered at the Lake of the Ozarks for their annual spring conference. A major topic of concern, Senate Bill 509, which was sent to the governor's desk last week. To see the the even glimmer that this is a consideration I, I I'm I'm shocked by it because there's so much that public education offers it always has and it continues to do that I really feel that it would be irresponsible or uh, even reckless to mess with the state's economy after we've gone through so much coming out of a recession. Senate Bill 509 would cut $260 million from public education, placing a burden on school districts throughout the state. 509 and the impact of it would really put pressure on us to either eliminate programs um, or go back to our voters when many of us have already been doing that recently. The services that we're providing within the school district, the cost for those services are not going to change. Uh, whether the money's coming from the federal level, the state level, or the local level, uh, it, it, those are burdens that are, are going to be there. We've been hit very hard because we are fairly dependent on the state. About 43% of our money comes from state funds from you know from the foundation formula so for us when there's a seven or a eight percent cut to that that's significant eighty percent of our operating budget is salary and benefits so if we have to make large reductions it's going to be programs that are going to affect our students it's really hard to avoid that my community would would work very hard to support our school district, but at some point there's a breaking point. To find out how to contact your local lawmakers on issues like education, visit MoDOT.gov.